Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Inform Victor Moses from Wigan. He is a left winger as opposed to the right wing, which he started as in his regular version. And first off, I'd just like to say thanks a bunch for 1k subscribers. I'm going to be doing a special video later on in the week, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I'm just going to go on with the review. So as you can see, he's got some pretty good on-card stats. His standout stats would be his pace and his dribbling, just like on his not inform. And his average price on the Xbox is about 103k, and his average price on the PS3 is about 108k. So not particularly expensive for a silver in form, but not that cheap either. So as always, I'll move on to his in-game stats. He's got quite a few pretty good skill attributes and a few not so great ones. The better ones are 85 ball control, 82 crossing, 85 curve, 86 dribbling, 82 finishing. He's only got 69 free kick accuracy, and 74 long shots isn't great for a guy with pretty big shooting upgrade. He's got 80 shot power. He's 5'10", so he's not particularly small or tall. It says in his bio that he is from Nigeria, and that's where he is from. And he has actually chosen to pay for Nigeria, I do believe, so I'm not sure why his nationality is English. Maybe it's because he hadn't made his mind up before this game came out, but anyway. He's a high-low work rate, which is ideal in my opinion. He's got 4-star weak foot and 4-star skill moves. He's got some nice physical attributes as well, such as 87 acceleration, 88 agility, 84 sprint speed, and 82 strength is extremely good for a winger with 80 plus pace, especially a silver one. So what I noticed about this guy was that his positioning and run making was very good. Because of his high low work rates, he does make a lot of runs forward and doesn't really get back to help the defense, but that doesn't really matter if you're playing at left wing because usually you have a lot of players behind him who will cover the defense. And like it says on the card, I do believe pacing are two best attributes. He's very good at getting past players and skilling. And although his finishing is quite good in my opinion, he did seem to put away quite a few of the chances I gave to him. His long shots were pretty diabolical if I may use that word. I may have only put in one or two in this video, but Overall, they were pretty terrible. Most of them were weak along the ground and wide, or they were skied over the bar, and really there were very few ones that I was pleased with. And by long shots, I mean 25 plus yard ones, not the ones from just outside the penalty area. But I think the main advantage this guy has over Scott Sinclair, if you were to be building a BPL silver team, would be his finishing, because although Sinclair is slightly better at dribbling and quicker in my opinion, I do think the Moses is a more clinical finisher, and although I think Sinclair would be more useful for skillers, I think for the majority of players, Moses would be the better player, because again, he's just more clinical, and he's got a nice inside the box finesse shot, and a very nice power shot, so for a lot of players, I think that's what they want, and not that bit of extra pace and balance, which Sinclair offers. So I'm going to move on to the verdict, and give this guy a 9 out of 10, because he excels in most areas of his game, but his finishing could be a teensy weensy bit better and his long shots are pretty terrible, but but for the most part I probably wouldn't build a team with wingers, excluding say Ronaldo and Navetti, if I was looking to score long shots. So that is the review, hopefully you've enjoyed this. As I said, I will be bringing out a special video later on this week, so stay tuned. If you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave it a like. Feel free to suggest a player review in the comments, and apart from that, I'll talk to you all next time.